Hello, today we are welcome to Motocross Update channel once again. Channel that will collect various stories of the motocross industry to tell your friends. The Motocross of Nation 2022 will start on 23rd to 25th September. This year the event will be held again at the USA Redbud MX in Michigan. In this clip, we will analyze and talk about the teams that will have a chance to win this year and the drivers that can be the key variables. This year, there are teams competing in 34 countries with the top riders of that country. Last year it was held at the Mintova circuit in Italy. Due to the status of the COVID-19 virus, many countries including the United States have not participated in the competition in the past year. Champion in 2021 like Italian team that this year must come back to defend the championship. The team is led by Antonio Caleri, the big brother of the team that owns the 9-time world champion to compete in the MX1 category. This time we should see him for the last time serving the country. Joining Mattia Gadognini in the open class of the Red Bull Gas Gas team. Andrea Adamo on the MX2 on his first experience in the Motocross of Nations. This year will be a difficult year for the Italian team to defend their title due to factors such as the drivers themselves and we are hoping the 9-time world champion legend can make a splash in this race. It's unlikely the Italian team will have a chance to stand on the podium, so I'm giving the reigning champions a chance to finish in roughly 5th and 6th. The Netherlands team was runner-up last year, which this year is still missing the main force Jeffrey Hurlings, who was injured earlier this year. But there is also a very skilled rider like Glenn Koldenhoff in the MX1. He set a record in 2018 with a score of 1-1 to -1 at this track. Koldenhoff rides well on sand tracks. He was accompanied by Calvin Vlanderen in the open class. Vlanderen had a bad time on this track in 2018. But it was reckless when the MXGP race at Sardegna had a deep sandy pattern. He rode well and was able to win an overall victory in this race. Red Bud isn't as sandy as Southwick but if it rains it's a driver's problem and keep an eye out for this rider. In the MX2 class the team sent K. De Wolf from Husqvarna to compete. This year there's a pretty good chance the Nefetlands team will be on the podium. Great Britain this year looks pretty good for GB. That has sent three experienced racers together. Dean Wilson in the MX1 is the owner of the Yamaha Motocross 2011 250 class. With quite a lot of experience in this field. Accompanied by Tommy Searle, owner of the British Motocross Championship 2022. Searle has a lot of experience and represents Team GB almost every year. This year he has been in the open class. The rider in the MX2 class is Max Anstey who has participated in the USA for two years. This is the same team in 2017 that was runner-up that year. We have to see if Team GB will have a chance to stand on the podium or not. Franz can say that this year he is one of the favorites as a team with a chance to win a championship like 2018. This year has sent three classes of world-class skilled racers together, MX1 Maxime Renault 250 class world champion in 2021. This year I rode 450 cc's. We'll have to wait and see how it turns out. Open class team France has sent Dylan Ferrandis the owner of the Ama Motocross 450 class 2021 and Ama Motocross 250 2020. Who was injured and recovered just in time for his return to the national team. Dylan rides quite aggressively and consistently. Waiting to follow how good the performance will be for DF14. The last person in the team to enter the MX2 class is not anyone else. Two-time MX2 world champion Marvin Musquin. Not doing motocross in 2022 this year due to contracts and other things but Musquin still has a chance to warm in the final race. Musquin in 250 class with poor performance but still managed to finish in the top 10. This year he competed in the MX2 in the motocross of nation race for the team. Waiting to follow up with this very experienced racer who will come up to fight 450 cc's or not, Team France has the opportunity to become champions with the available squadrons. But with round wheels, anything can happen. We have to wait to follow. The favorite team for the championship is inevitable with USA. This year has a high percentage of returning to win this tournament. As for the USA, 
it didn't compete last year and hasn't won this tournament for a decade. This year is considered the best year for the team to win the championship at home. Roger DeCoster sent the best ready riders to compete with all three riders. MX1 Eli Tomic from Monster Energy Yamaha team, four-time motocross champion this year was beautiful for him and I must say that he was the most confident. Tomic has competed in Mzon three times but is still disappointed with this tournament. This is a chance to make excuses and not have a racer like Jeffrey Hurlings. Tim Geiser. Join the race, we have to wait and see how it turns out. Open class for Chase Sexton, Honda's promising racer. This year's vice champion of motocross was chosen to serve the country. This rider is ambitious and thirsty for victory but with this is his first race in this tournament. The fans wanted to help him become more calm. If he does, the chances of winning the USA won't be very far away. This year's MX2 racer is Justin Cooper's excuse. Cooper got another chance in the MX2 back in 2019. He collided with Anderson and broke Cooper's wrist. And at the beginning of the year he was still injured but still managed to keep up until he competed in motocross for the whole season. But his performance is not satisfactory to the fans as much. But in the end, you need to be encouraged. Lastly, this year's Australia team has been quite strong with the team led by Mitchell Evans. Teammate world champion Tim Geiser of Honda HRC team. He competed in the MX1 class, there is also a rising star like Jet Lawrence, a two-time AMA motocross champion. Competing in the open class category. Everyone is watching to see if they can come up against the seniors or not. He is also accompanied by older brother Hunter Lawrence in the MX2 class. For Team Australia this is a factory team from Honda HRC all three class from the agency. There is a chance after USA and France to win this year's championship. We have to wait and see what the outcome will be. How are you? What are your thoughts on the clip? If you like it, please press like, press share, press subscribe. Please encourage each other and see you again in the next clip. Hello.